Okay, now it's saved, right? Okay, now you again go to F110 and check. Uh, before that, go to FBJP and uh, your payment method and uh, determination just uh, show me right now. Hmm. Hmm. Check. Yeah. So where is your file? Where is your payment method? First one, right? Double click on that. And double click on that. Double click here. Are you there? Hello, Nitin, are you there? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Okay, fine now. Okay, bank transfer. It's bank. Just uh, um, just remove that is as a bank transfer, not a check. So yes, no, no. Just go up. Remove that check. It's a put it bank transfer. It is bank transfer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now go to. Yeah. Now go to. Uh, Next to configuration. What's next? Okay, see. Yes, sir. Uh, ah, this one, right? So, uh, city bank and payment method you need to use it. Now we again execute F1101. We are doing the configuration for city bank only. So, at the initial stage, you need to connect our uh, client for which bank, which bank we need to implement DME. And and the bank file format should be uh, according to the client requirement and bank specification. So again, they are again doing the same. No, no. So again, uh, you post one transaction and uh, and do the F one zero. Or no, no. Yeah. Tomara pass open item chahiye na. Yes. Ab pull gaye tumne. So you are uh, you should have open item and payment method. You can give it, and uh, the same should be picked in the automatic payment program, right?
Okay, click enter. Okay, it's correctly picked right now. Check the which bank it has associated double click on that. Okay, double click uh, system is uh, which bank is showing? No, no, so not required. So give the city bank here. One minute, give the city bank. See, see, in that also uh, already there, city bank is there. Just uh, no, no, cancel this. It's already there. In the top house bank, no, no, top house bank is there, right? Yes, yes. Payment method and house bank. Okay, just go back. No need to give manually, it's there. Okay, now just uh, uh, do the payment one. Enter and go to environment. It is in. Okay. Enter, 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 click enter on. Okay. DM administration. Hey, payment medium. Payment medium. Ah, yes. Right now, system is picking this amounts. Okay, so I'm going to select the first line item and check. Yeah, specs option is there top. So click allow. Okay, this is a CPA payment output file. Okay, so how much you have given? What is the amount? So for which invoice you have done this? Uh, um, that is there in this uh, file format. Okay. So now in the CPA format, uh, so credit terms. Okay, credit date and time. You can see my message ID. So what is that message ID? 100, 100, 27, 10, uh, time, so when it was there, okay? And uh, system will checking entire details, okay? And address also system picking. So this is the file format uh, we need to send to the bank. We need to submit a uh, bank file form, uh, portal, um, then bank will check it out this format is according to the bank specification or not if this bank file format is according to uh, not according to the bank uh, file format and bank requirement uh, then it would be rejected by the bank so creation of the xml file and all those things is very very easy okay but uh, the thing is uh, we need to uh, do the configuration of this xml file and bank uh, and the file format should be according to the client requirement and bank requirement okay so in client requirement we need to uh, map some client business scenarios and uh, in the bank format bank format should be according to the client requirement now i will tell you so how you can understand the uh, client business requirement i will tell you just uh, uh, go to chrome 